Hello sports fans, it is Tuesday, April the 7th, the year 2015, and as always, a lot to get to in the sports world, so let's get it going right now. Great to be back with you guys. Hope you watched the national championship game last night with the Duke Blue Devils rally in the second half and beat the Wisconsin Badgers 68-63. Duke and Coach K win their fifth national title. I thought it was a very, very exciting game. Let's recap it uh, real quick for you. First of all, the crowd was tremendous. Huge crowds there in Indianapolis the whole weekend. Great fan bases, Kentucky, Michigan State, Wisconsin, and Duke. There was a lot of red in the crowd last night. Duke fans were well represented as well. Let's recap it real quick. First half, Okafor gets in immediate foul trouble for Duke. He sat most of the first half, was pretty much a non-factor. Duke still had a six-point lead in the first half despite Okafor's uh, foul trouble. Then Wisconsin starts to get on a roll. They actually take the lead. But we go into the uh, halftime break tied at 31. The story of the first half, besides Okafor's foul trouble, is Wisconsin is all over the offensive glass getting a lot of second-chance points. So we're at halftime, 31-31. It's just what everyone thought. Close, tight game. Very, very tight. We thought it would be this type of game. You know, we thought it would be, a, you know, a couple points either way. Exactly what we thought it would be in the first half. 31-31. Second half, Wisconsin starts to get going. Kaminsky starts to get rolling. Okafor is, uh, you know, in foul trouble again in the uh, second half. Wisconsin, with 13 minutes to go, actually has a 48-39 lead. And you're sitting there going, wow, Wisconsin has really taken control of this game. Okafor is a non-factor. He's in foul trouble. Duke looks lost. What are they going to do? I mean, Duke seemed to, be, seemed to have no answers at that point. You thought Wisconsin was going to pull away. And then steps up Mr. Allen for Duke. That's right, Mr. Allen, who was the unsung hero of last night's game. Wisconsin up nine. Allen comes into the game, hits a three-pointer. Duke down six. Allen with the huge steal on the sidelines. Allen with a layup. Duke down four. Allen another free throw. Duke down three. Hayes did hit a three for Wisconsin to put them back up six. Allen came back down, hit two more free throws to make it a four-point game. Allen stabilized the game for Duke. He kept Duke in the game. Duke was on the ropes. They were ready to be knocked out. And Allen stabilized the game. Then from there, Tyus Jones stepped up and started to dominate. So Allen stabilized it, and now Jones starts to dominate. Duke ties the game at 54. Allen, another bucket, puts Duke up two. Uh, then Jones hits a three for Duke after Wisconsin had taken the lead. Jones hits a three. Duke goes up 59-58. Okafor back in the game. He starts to get in the act. He starts to get his game going. He gets a layup, puts Duke up three. Okafor, another layup. Uh, Duke up by five points. Then Jones hits a three. Jones was unbelievable last night. Duke up eight, and they're in total control. Then Duke starts to get a little sloppy down the stretch. Uh, they actually let Wisconsin cut the lead to three. Duke actually threw a long, you know, long pass down the court, and they should have taken the ball out. Instead, of they went for a layup. Missed the layup. Wisconsin comes down and gets a dunk to cut it to three with 50 seconds left. So Duke up three with the ball, 50 seconds left. Wisconsin should have just played good, solid defense there. Hope they get, you know, they get the ball back down three with about 15 seconds left. Instead, they commit a foul around midcourt with about 35 seconds left. That was a terrible foul. They weren't intentionally trying to foul them. They did foul them. That was a bad foul there. You just want to play defense. You're only down one possession. Jones hits two free throws, puts Duke up by five. The game is over from there, and Duke wins their fifth national title. What a job by Coach K and Duke. It's funny, we were talking all year about the Kentucky freshmen and the Kentucky class, and it was the Duke freshmen that got the job done. And make no mistake about it last night. Allen stabilized the game for Duke. Without him, Duke does not win this game. They were down nine. Okafor is a non-factor in foul trouble. He stabilized the game, had some huge baskets. He was so aggressive. He looked like he was a star out there. He stabilized the game, passed the torch to Jones, who played like an absolute superstar. Then they finally get Okafor down the stretch. He puts the cherry on top, and Duke wins the game and breaks Wisconsin's heart. I'll tell you, in the second half, Wisconsin, to me, looked a little tired. They were taking way too many three-pointers. They're not going inside. Okafor was out most of the second half. 
<clears throat> you got to throw the ball in inside there to Big Frank. You got to run the offense through him. Now, give Duke credit. They played good defense without Okafor in the game. You know, Jefferson, Winslow, everyone out there was playing good, solid team defense. And then in the second half, Wisconsin started to foul. They started to pile up the fouls in the second half. Duke was getting to the line a lot more. Wisconsin had no offensive rebounds in the, uh, in the second half as well. But the Duke defense, I was so impressed with what they did without Okafor on the floor. I mean, that is a tremendous job by Duke, forcing Wisconsin into a lot of threes. Wisconsin was not making any threes. How about Decker last night? Decker was unbelievable this whole NCAA tournament up until last night. 0 for 6 from three-point range. Did you ever think he was going to shoot 0 for 6 after what he did, you know, the previous games? Couldn't hit a shot, just did not have his shot going down. I mean, he just did not have it going last night. 0 for 6 for 3 with all the three-pointers he's hitting this tournament. He just looks so confident. Last night, he did not have it. Sometimes you have bad shooting games like that. Unfortunately, Decker did 0 for 6 from 3. That really cost Wisconsin. I thought the refs, again, were bad on both sides, just like they were in the Wisconsin-Kentucky game. They were bad on both sides there. They were bad on both sides here. You know, a couple of charge, you know, block calls I thought were bad. I thought the third foul on Okafor was terrible. I thought he had all ball there. Uh, Duke stepped out of bounds uh, on one possession. They didn't see that. How do you miss that? Then that play where they reviewed it with the uh, the finger, I thought it went off Duke. They said no. They gave the ball to Duke there. But I thought the, the refs were bad on both sides, just like with Wisconsin and Kentucky, where they missed that shot clock violation against Wisconsin the other day. I thought the refs were both, you know, were bad on both sides. So I didn't give one team a particular edge. So I thought the refereeing the last couple of games was not good at all. The referee needs to do a better job. Give Duke credit for stepping up in the second half, down nine. I, they did a tremendous job on defense as well. Like I said, Wisconsin settling for way too many threes, not going inside to Big Kaminsky. And down the stretch, Jones was absolutely unbelievable. Really, really great performance by Jones. But make no mistake about it, Allen stabilized the game. Passed the torch to Jones, who was a superstar last night. Okafor put the cherry on top, and Duke's team defense got the job done. Also, as going back to the refs, now I love Bo Ryan, and I love the Wisconsin team, but they did not do a good job in the post uh, post game, you know, press conference. Now, first of all, I don't want to see the players in the post game press conference. I don't need to see them. They're all distraught. You know, the losing team is distraught. They have nothing to say. You're not going to get anything out of them. You're just not. Just like the Kentucky players, you're going to get one word answers. You're not going to get anything. I don't need to hear from the players there. You know, I just don't. You didn't get much from the Wisconsin players last night. One word answers to me. I don't need to hear from the players. You want to hear from the coaches, that's fine. They make millions of dollars. You want to hear from Coach K and Bo Ryan, that's fine. Bo Ryan, who I love, he's done a tremendous job. He's a fabulous coach. Everyone likes him. Did not do a good job in the post game. He was talking about the officials. He, did, he seemed grouchy. He seemed irritated. He, he was balking at everyone and asked a question of him. And you just can't focus on the officials there. Not after the other day where certain calls went your way like that shot clock violation. You know, you can't now talk about the officials. How about giving Duke a little credit? How about giving Jones some credit for making every shot? How about giving Allen credit for stepping up? I mean, and how about saying your team just didn't play well in the second half? Too many threes. Decker couldn't hit a shot. Got away from Kaminsky. How about giving the other team a little bit of a cre uh, credit? You can't blame the officials there. It doesn't come off good at all. It looks like you have sour grapes. And I love Bo Ryan. I think he's a tremendous coach. And it's a tough spot for him. He's very emotional. He's had these kids for four years. Back-to-back -back Final Fours. He's hurt. These kids are like family to him. I understand all that. You don't want to focus on the officials there. You want to get off that topic. Give due credit. Be humble. Talk about your team, what they did and didn't do. You don't want to make it about the officials there because it looks like sour grapes. It looks like you're making excuses. It looks like you're a sore loser. And I love Bo Ryan. I love the Wisconsin team. I love their fan base. This is not anti-Wisconsin. I love them. Bo Ryan did not do a great job in the post game last night for the first time this whole tournament. I'll give him a mulligan. He was very upset. It's, it's an emotional game. They get him right after the game. I'll give him a mulligan. Bo Ryan, though, needs to do a better job in that post-game press conference. He was not good at all. And like I said, I don't need to hear from the players. 
I don't need to hear from them. You're not going to get much from them. You're going to get one-word answers. They're distraught. A lot of them are crying. The Kentucky plays, you didn't get much. The Wisconsin plays, you're getting one-word answers. I can do away with hearing from the players at all. You want to get the coaches up there? Fine. Coach K, Bo Ryan, they make millions of dollars. You know, get them up there. But Bo Ryan did not do a good job in the postgame. He just did not. And I love Bo Ryan. That was not his finest hour. But getting back to the game, give Duke all sorts of credit. Down nine points in the second half. Their big man on the bench. And Allen just stepped up in a big way. Jones, like I said, an absolute superstar. The team defense with Jefferson and Winslow doing a great job forcing Wisconsin into all those threes. Wisconsin didn't shoot the ball uh, great at all last night. They, uh, Duke started to rebound better in the second half. Give Duke all sorts of credit for coming back and winning this game. Tremendous job by Duke. And how about Coach K? Is this guy not unbelievable? And I don't want to hear the anti-Duke stuff and they, you don't like Coach K. How do you not like Coach K? I mean, come on. What he's done for college basketball, what he's done with this Duke program, how about what he's done for USA Basketball? USA Basketball was floundering for a while before Coach K got there. Now they're back-to-back -back Olympic champions. They're back-to-back -back world champions. How about what he's done for USA Basketball, along with Duke Basketball, along with college basketball? Coach K is one of the all-time greats. And that's another thing I don't want to hear. You get all these people after the game saying, who's the best coach of all time? Is it Wooden? Is it Coach K? I hate those kind of arguments. They did it in the Super Bowl with Brady. As long as you're in the conversation, that's all you need to be. How do you? How could you compare people? Who's better, Wooden or Coach K? They're all great. How about that? How about we settle for that? I mean, they're having this big debate last night of who's better, Coach K or Wooden. They're both great. How about we just leave it at that? Coach K, a tremendous job. Keeps reinventing himself. What a job by Coach K. Coach K is pushing 70 now. You'd never, you'd never realize it. He looks like the same guy from 30 years ago. The same enthusiasm, the same intensity. What a tremendous individual Coach K is. I mean, he is just a special, special person. You hear all his players talk about him. They, they talk about him like he's their dad, like he's a father figure to them. He really takes care of his players. He seems to really love his players. He is a very, very special person. If you have, you know, a kid out there that's looking to go to college, looking to play ball, you'd love to have him go to Duke and play under Coach K. Coach K. Make no mistake about it. Anyone would. Coach K, a tremendous, tremendous person, really special person, and a great, great coach. Congratulations to the Duke, Ble Duke Blue Devils and all their fans down there, the Cameron Crazies. I saw they were watching the game at Cameron Indoor Stadium yesterday. They were going crazy. The Duke fans are absolutely tremendous. I know one of my uh, friends down there, his wife went to Duke. She must have been going crazy last night. So congratulations, congratulations to my friend uh, Paul's wife, his better half. I know she was going crazy last night. Congratulations to Duke and all their great fans. They certainly deserved it. They were in the best conference, you know, the ACC. They do a great job in this tournament, and they just blow out Michigan State in the Final Four, and they come back and beat a really good Wisconsin team. Wisconsin had a fabulous year, back-to-back -back Final Fours. They knock off Kentucky. I also thought Wisconsin might have been a little tired, a little fatigued. They had that big emotional win against Kentucky. They only had a day in between that. They maybe got a little emotionally tired as well, but Wisconsin had a fabulous season. You love Decker, even though he had a bad shooting game last night. Kaminsky we all love. We love that Wisconsin team, their fans. We love Bo Ryan, even though he didn't have a great post uh, game last night. Great job by Wisconsin getting there, doing a great job last night, playing some really good basketball. They just fell a little, little short. Duke, congratulations again. To you and your fans, you guys deserve it. Coach K and Duke win their fifth national championship. I'll tell you, I'm going to miss the tournament. It was really exciting. I thought some of the games were just fabulous. Wisconsin, Kentucky, Duke, Wisconsin. Those final eight games all came down the stretch. I mean, really, really fabulous stuff. I'm going to miss the tournament. So it was really great stuff. The crowd in Indianapolis over the weekend was just tremendous. Huge, huge crowds. The four fan bases, just tremendous. I am going to miss college basketball, just like I'm missing the NFL and college football right now. All right, so that's where you are as far as the men's college basketball. Tonight, you have the women's title, UConn against Notre Dame. 
UConn trying to win their 10th national title. Gino Oriema going for his 10th title. We'll see if Notre Dame can make a game of this. If there's any team that maybe gives UConn trouble, it's Notre Dame. Please tune into that. These ladies can really, really play. Check them out tonight. UConn, Notre Dame on the women's side. Of course, baseball started yesterday. It's so early for baseball. I noticed a lot of home runs in baseball yesterday. Here in New York and the East Coast, we had like a, our first decent day in like six months. So it looked like you know the, the weather was nice. A lot of home runs were being hit. That all, of course, came crashing down today when I look outside and we have nothing but rain and cold weather again. So we'll, we'll see how that, you know, develops as far as the rainouts and all that kind of stuff with baseball. You get a lot of rainouts, you know, this time of the year. But yesterday, a lot of home runs in baseball, baseball underway. You're going to have baseball on, you know, wall to wall now from here till November. Uh, down the stretch in the NBA and the NHL, we go only a few games left in each Make sure you pay attention to these. You want to see who makes, you know, those last few spots. Like I said in the NHL, the Kings battling for that last spot, the defending Stanley Cup champions. Same thing in the NBA. Of course, you got the Masters this weekend. We'll see Rory McIlroy is the favorite. We'll see how he plays. We'll see how Phil Mickelson plays. Of course, we'll keep an eye on Tiger Woods. Will Tiger Woods play well? Will he actually, you know, make a cut? Will he actually stay on the course and not get hurt? I mean, we'll keep an eye on Tiger Woods, and like I said, if Tiger Woods is 30 shots behind the leader, I don't need to see every one of his shots. We'll keep an eye on the Masters, really looking forward to it. So you got a lot of stuff going on. You got the Masters this weekend. You got Major League Baseball kicking off. You got the NBA and the NHL winding down. Teams jostling for position, teams fighting for playoff spots. You have a lot to watch. You have the women's national title game tonight, UConn and Notre Dame. <clears throat> there you go. You guys are all caught up. You guys are all set. Thanks again so much for the support. You guys, I will be back with you Monday. We'll recap everything that went on in the sports world, and we'll be ready for NHL playoffs next week, NBA soon to follow after that. we got a lot to cover starting next week. I'll recap it all. Thanks again for the support. You guys stay safe. Enjoy the games. Check out that UConn-Notre Dame women's game tonight. I will talk to you Monday. Take care.